equal to 0, and then solve. So we replace f of x in with 0, and we say x minus 1 cubed. Actually, you know, let's simplify some time. Replace f of x with 0. Now you see I have the product of factored form set equal to 0. Now I can apply my 0 product property. Okay. However, before I can do anything inside the parentheses, I have to undo what's happening outside the parentheses, which is looks like cubing and squaring. So I need to undo the cube root, by, or undo cubing by taking the cube root of both sides. Undo the square root by taking the square root of both sides. Notice, guys, it doesn't really matter what power my factor is raised to. I'm still going to have whatever is inside the parentheses equal to 0. Right? So it doesn't matter if I raise it to the 18th power or the 15th power. Whatever is inside my parentheses is still going to be my 0. Now I just add 1, add 1. So x equals 1, subtract 2, subtract 2, x equals negative 2. Those are my zeros. However, it asks us now to identify the multiplicity and state, does the graph cross or does it um, bounce? So when identifying multiplicity, what we're looking at is we're looking at the power of the factor. So while that 3, please be very careful, while that 3 does not affect the value of the 0, it does affect the graph. And that is what we call our multiplicity, where we can say the multiplicity of my 0 at x equals 1 is equal to 3. The multiplicity of my 0 x equals negative 2 is equal to 2. Now why, again, is multiplicity important? Because if the multiplicity of a 0 is odd, it crosses. If the multiplicity at a 0 is even, it bounces. Okay, now to sketch this, they asked us to sketch this by hand. You could use graphing technology and I would have no problem with that. But I'm just going to show you real quick because this will help you out for your quiz as well. Can we identify what the end behavior would be of this polynomial? Yes. Well, let's try to find the degree. If I did x minus 1 cubed, what would be the degree of that? If I were to expand that out, the highest power would be x to the third power, which would be x cubed. And if I was to expand x plus 2 squared, that would give me x squared. So I would have an x squared times an x cubed, which would give me a x to the fifth. Right? Yes? Highest power. Yep. Um, so now we know if we were to multiply this out, we'd have x to the fifth. Now, knowing my end behavior, I know that's an odd function, so I know x to the fifth, since these are all positive, that leading coefficient is positive, I know my graph for x to the fifth, or so it's an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. That's like the identity function, which I can say is falls left, rises right. Right? So to graph this by hand with no aid of technology, where are my zeros? At 1 and at negative 2. What is my end behavior? Falls left, rises right. What does the graph do at 1? It crosses. What does it do at negative 2? It bounces. Or it could go like this, right? But so now, just connect your two end behaviors. And that's it. Done. So I want to show you guys technology or doing